Hello everybody. First I want to thank all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really, really thank you very much. Let's see. What is not in your news today? Okay, here we go. Here's the site here. Here's the site. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let me read that. Uh, it's AmericanFaith.com. Someone admits it has no record of a <clears throat> person spreading <clears throat> after recovering from <clears throat> Here you can see that oh yeah you can read that loud and clear here it is right here right here It admits it has no record of a <clears throat> person spreading <clears throat> after recovering from <clears throat> naturally. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to try to read this for you. Yeah, I got it. Okay, let me see. Oh, gosh, my eyes are just terrible. Here we go. Um... You can probably read it faster than I can read it. Uh, okay. A search of our records failed to reveal any documents not pertaining to your request. And this person requested this information. Uh, Siri and Glimstad, attorney Elizabeth Brum of New York, filed a Freedom of Information Act request asking the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to provide documentation of cases in which a person who had recovered from <clears throat> naturally became reinfected and spread the disease to others. Attorney Brum sent in her Freedom of Information Act request on September 2nd, 2021 to the CDC's Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry. Brum request asked for documents reflecting any documented case of an individual who never received a <clears throat> um, was infected with <clears throat> once recovered and then later became infected again and three three transmitted to another person when re when reinfected. Okay, hang on, I gotta scroll down here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. The CDC responded to Brem's request revealing that the agency has no record of an hmm, person spreading hmm after recovering from <clears throat> themselves, nor do they collect such information. <laughs> the Freedom of Information Act officer Roger Ando replied, a search of our records failed to reveal any documents pertaining to your request. The Emergency Operations Center conveyed that this information is not collected. Surprise, surprise, huh? Trust the science. 
Some speculate such information or lack thereof could provide a reasonable legal argument for lawyers defending clients who are refusing <clears throat> mandates on the grounds of natural, <clears throat> you know, Siri and Glimstead's website claims it helped and dang, I hate this. Okay. It helped hundreds of individuals obtain <clears throat> exemptions and fight back against various employer <clears throat> dates. Let's see. Aaron Siri, managing partner of Siri Glimstead and lawyer for the Epic Times, who filed another Freedom of Information Act request for additional information from the CDC on the matter, wrote in a blog post. You would assume that if the agency was going to crush the civil and individual rights of those who of those with natural immunity by having them expelled from school fired from their jobs separated in the military and worse the agency would have proof of at least one instance of a <clears throat> naturally immune individual transmitting the <clears throat> virus to another individual. If you thought this, you would be wrong, Siri equipped. In response to Attorney's Freedom of Information Act request, U.S agency admits that it has no record of an hmm, person spreading hmm, after recovering from hmm, lawyers smelling blood in the water hey lawyers come on now's your time to earn some money 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 that's what you like to do earn some money 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 well here you go here you go yes okay let's see this letter here I think it's got a, yeah, here we go. Okay, read the response here. November 5th, 2021. Sent via email. Elizabeth Brum, attorney. Siri and Glimstad, New York, New York. Dear Miss Brem, the Centers for Prevention and Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry received your September 2nd, 2021 Freedom of Information Act request, September 2nd, 2021, seeking documents reflecting any documented case of an individual who never received a hmm, was infected with hmm, once recovered and then later became infected again and transmitted hmm, to another person when reinfected. See, here we go. A search of our records failed to reveal any documents pertaining to your request. The <clears throat> Emergency Operations Center conveyed that this information is not collected. Here you go. You may contact our Freedom of Information Act public liaison at 777. No, excuse me. 770. Four eight eight six two seven seven for any further assistance and to discuss any aspect of your request. Additionally, you may contact the other 
the Office of Government Information Services. At the National Archives and Records Administration to inquire about the Freedom of Information Act mediation services they offer. The contact information for OGIS is as follows, Office of Government Information Services, National Archives and Records Administration, 8601 Adelphi Road, OGIS, College Park, Maryland, 20740-6020. Email at OGIS at NARA dot gov. Telephone at two zero two seven four one five seven seven zero. Toll free at one eight seven seven six eight four six four four eight. Or Fessimil at 202-741-5769. If you are not satisfied with the response to this request, you may administratively appeal by writing to the Deputy Agency Chief Freedom of Information Act Officer, Office of the Assistant Secretary for Public Affairs, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Hubert H. Humphrey Building, 200 Independence Avenue, Suite 729 H, Washington, D.C., 20201. You may also transmit your appeal via email to Freedom of F O I A request at psc.hhs.gov. Please mark both your appeal letter and envelope. Freedom of Information Act Appeal. Your appeal must be postmarked for electronically transmitted by February 3rd, 2022. Okay. Sincerely, Roger Ando, CDC Freedom of Information Act Officer. Well, there you have it. Hey, there you have it, people. Kind of, okay, okay. There you go. There you go. Now you know. Now you know. All right. Now, now, now maybe you f people fearing this, this thing you know, this this flu thing, this man-made flu thing. Yes, it was man-made. Okay? And, and and we know by who. Who's who's still running around free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're tr still trusting this these people with your health. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, we know what the um what they're doing. <gasps> Come on, don't depopulate yourself. Come on, fight back. Fight back. Gosh. Okay. Later. <laughs>